And that's and that's why. And if I see Matt White in the ass, I'm gonna slap him stupid too. Excuse me. Huh? We are live. Hmm. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Excited to be here. Big thanks to Tech Electronics for decking out our studios. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Cameras, mics, the board. It's a Behringer. What is what? What, is that, what does that mean? I, I don't, don't know. know. I tagged him on Instagram and they they were shared like, it. They were like, "Cool, man." Yeah. They're like, all right. Uh, so. Yep, it is. That's right. All you Behringer fans tuning in, that board's doing wonders. Uh, X32. If you missed the uh, the first hour, you can go back, watch it here on Facebook Live, okay. or you can download it on iTunes. Be sure to rate and review while you're there, everybody. I'm still floored that he picked up some UFC stuff from this weekend. That was a, it was like a really good card, and I wasn't even going to bring it up. So, hmm. I, what do you, I like competitive <laughs> sports, man. If it, it, look, it's... Is it WWE pay per view? It's not, but it's entertaining nonetheless. Mm, okay. I like I like good combat fighting. I used to be a combat fighter myself. Good for you. I did. Mm. The type of combat. I mental. <laughs> uh, that huh. makes sense. Mental combat. Pretty strong. Good for you. Who, was strong. that a league? Uh, Gardner. It was. I don't believe him at all. <laughs> uh, you've been toying around some bit mojis, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are we debuting that today? Well, I was just going to show a few things here. Oh, I'm excited. I was toying around with Bitmojis to create something. And then, number one, I created my own. And then I was like, you know, kind of going through the app and like, okay, so now that you have one, now that I have one, what do you do with it? Oh, you send these little messages. Then I came across one message I was not too fond of. Whoa. It's a bear. <laughs> Holding a bitmoji of one Chris Gardner. Mm. And look at you. You're like, ah, I do declare. Yeah, woe is me. Not a big fan of that. No, boy. But I was uh, a happy bear, though. Toying around with bitmojis with some other stuff, too. Oh, okay. Just maybe coming soon. Oh, yeah? Maybe coming soon. Oh, the tease, Chris. Oh, boy. There it is. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> it's Michael McDonald. And uh, Usher. Okay, yeah. Modest mouth. Modest mouth. Look how I did a good job on the hairline, because I got one. Now, should I get rid of the hairline? Yeah, I saw that the people on the Twitters <laughs> said it wasn't uh, authentic <laughs> now, I'm because not one of to the pick hairline. on you or, or react, I should say, to the horrible things you say to me. <laughs> but you, do you feel that it's accurate? That's pretty accurate. I think it's accurate. I was being He's a like, little, man, I look handsome. I was being a little generous. I like that. I thought really? you'd like it. And, you know, the, that hairline's kind of drawn back a little. Yeah, it is. Got a little cold of sax. So I sax was like, cold okay. Of, cold of sax in there. Good for you. But we could go completely shaved if we want still. I, I, w I would prefer that, but this I'm not well, complaining. let's do that. We got time. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. But I was thinking something along this design here and then some t-shirts. I think it would be gold. Do you know anybody that makes shirts offhand? Ten feet behind us. Oh. Nice. Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> like all right. Man. We do. John man. Beebe by, by Jack. Jack. Dot com. Now the Chris was asking me this question off air. He wanted to know because as modest mouth continues to grow, mm -hmm. mm. so does our popularity. And with each new success, with each new music artist that we bring in here, they want to play with us. Ben Fred told me he enjoyed our video from uh, with Brian Owens. See, so people are starting to realize Brian Owens the is doing true a show with Michael McDonald mm -hmm. and the true movement of Modest, of Modest Mouth. Like it's growing here in St. Louis. We've now played with a couple music artists, yeah. and oh, I like being underground. Still, how do we how do we explain to Chris? Like, so what will be the plan going forward when we are on tour? Do we want to still dial in through VMix? Mm -hmm. Do we bring Chris on the road with us and we do the pod from our tours on the road? Yeah. These are these are situations we're going to have to think about going forward. We might have to borrow Josh's uh, band van. Yeah, we're going to probably definitely need the band Josh van. Josh Eaker, yes. Brother Lee and the Leather Jackals. Mm -hmm. who, who have, I would imagine, if we just, you know, walked about 50 feet behind us, had a conversation with Josh, maybe he can open for us. You think that's yeah. how it works? I think Josh would open for us. Yeah. So it's something to think mm -hmm. about. Are you going to be like, how are you going to be like in the, uh, behind the music? Are you going to be like, yeah, man, I was the one that didn't think they were going to go anywhere. 
and then you look like an idiot. Mm. Would you like to apologize now? Would you like to jump on the bandwagon now? We because we don't want Gardner and I don't want the glory. We don't want your love when we walking down the red carpets. Mm. Okay. We don't want your love when we up here with the beautiful ladies in Vegas. Is that where a mouth band plays? Yes, frequently. Okay. We doing the bar mitzvahs in your neighborhood. Don't be mad. Don't be like, hey dog, can I get tickets to maybe in his neighborhood. The, the Eisenberg bar mitzvah, and I'm be like, nope. That's how it's done. Oh, did you go ones and twos there? Bob, one, two. We've added another element. We're going to play different instruments. We'll be like the mouth band Arcade Fire. Mm. Mm. You know how much mouth the mouth gets, mm. if you know what I mean. <laughs> the yeah, mouth. That helps, yeah. Damn. Game changer. You're welcome, Deadman. Game okay. Well, good changer. for you guys, and congrats on the bitmojis. Yeah. The bear one's my favorite. Uh, that might. Oh, I saw excited. that one and was like, ooh. Can Why would you do on? this? Yeah, it's unnecessary. Well, a woe is me with a bear in it? That doesn't even make sense. Mm -mm. I don't like that at all. I think maybe it was uh, it was doing a little research in your phone. Mm. Yeah, it could be. Uh, Travis, over the weekend you saw a psychic video. What's going on with that? <laughs> Did I? Yeah, you must have got high and sent it to me. <laughs> <laughs> It was a gotcha kind of video with a psychic from some time ago on Inside Yes! Edition. Do we have the video? And it was with Lisa Guerrero. Yes. Who we saw with <laughs> Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth Copeland. Jesus, yeah. Jesus needs me in this <laughs> private jet. Uh, yeah, can I, uh, yeah, so this is, this is hilarious. I don't know <laughs> you how. You got high and said this to me and forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, right. All right, from time to time. You throw a dart against the board, and it's a bullseye. Mm -hmm. It's a bullseye. Like, oh, this is good. I watched it. But it was funny because it was very, it's, just watch the video. Okay. Had a gentleman in yesterday. 30 years ago, his sister disappeared. She soon began talking about a recent case, but clearly her psychic abilities didn't tell her that I was the girl in the picture. One of the first things I do in a case, Lisa, mm -hmm is I always make sure people know that if I feel the person is living or not. And so you'll always know yes. when you talk to a family member, when you start a case, you'll know if this person is dead yes. or alive. And that's the point. Is that Every I, time. Yes. <laughs> but apparently her psychic abilities didn't see this mm. coming. Lori, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Mm. okay. She knows already. Yes. Does this girl look familiar to yes, you? Yes, she does. I worked this case. This is a girl who you said was beaten and killed. Okay. This little girl is me. And you told somebody that she's dead. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? How do you explain being completely wrong? I can't wrong? explain it. I can't explain it. You're charging them hundreds of dollars. Okay. You know what, dear? Hundreds of dollars. Done. You're taking advantage of okay. desperate people with a mm. bunch of hocus okay. pocus, aren't you? No, I'm not. I think we'll go. Thank you. Oh, you it's been take an interesting those, experience. That battery pack and love, Mike. You didn't disappear. <laughs> that was the best part of that video. Oh. You didn't disappear. <laughs> like. Like, that is oh, outstanding. Guerrero. That was excellent patience, because she wanted to drop that quick. She, oh, she, she was let it, it She's up. like, ever. You've never, yeah. ever got. You she sure? Gave her, she gave you her sure? Eight, she gave her eight chances to <laughs> bail. <laughs> she did give her a bunch of shit. <laughs> then she goes, and then my she favorite part said, before well, the video. You know, it gets cloudy. It's like anything. And then when she brought up the photo, she goes, oh, yes, I worked this case. Uh-huh. I, like, oh. I was waiting for her at the end just, <laughs> at the end just to go. <laughs> she was dancing. Oh yes, I worked this case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting for my 
Nice. That is, is that at the end. That is that is good. Lisa Guerrero messing around. Ooh. She's luck. She's gonna be. Move over, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> Move over, Joe Rogan. We got a new journalist of the year. But this is an old video. I'm wondering how this old is, that is. This is a very, but I don't know how it came across into my timeline. And I just, for whatever reason, I have to share things with you or I will forget. Yeah. Some things I will see, I go, this is hilarious. I'll send it to Gardner, whether we use it or not, whatever. But I want to at least remember. Just to let you know. Right. Over the past three weeks or so, you've sent me two other videos. Yeah. And I've had them ready to go. Uh, okay. What, what? I don't have them anymore because you never went to them. Oh, okay. But I've had. I, I keep. I, okay. I take note. Okay. And I, I get them sure. ready. Okay. Yeah. And I, I played this little game now with myself to see if uh, you will remember that you wanted gotta, them. Or see, not. that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of diabolical of you, sir. Very diabolical. I like and, the mind game. Though. And we now that I made note of it on the rundown, you did remember. See. Kind of. Because you didn't remember at first. Because I didn't remember at first. Mm-hmm. She could she could have got up and beat her to death. <laughs> <laughs> to death to prove she could. Right. Now you disappeared. That would have been it's the black sheep. Black sheep. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the that's the text of the year. I guess I, I was right. I think we're done. I guess I was right. <laughs> about to eat these fists, bitch. Here, here's the thing. Look. <laughs> Screw now it. who's right? Black Sheep, just, just do our show. Oh. <laughs> just do the show. I will gladly we'll step down. Yes, and you we can be will the all white step guy. down. You just can take be the over white this guy. show. <laughs> that is outstanding. That would have been funny if she just like, oh, really? Just start like, just took out a baseball bat. Uh-huh. Dead now, ain't we? Yeah. Uh, I guess so. God, that's great. <laughs> that's great. I just love her. Like the reactions, like. The sincerity of her corruption. Like she was sincere in the corruption. Like mm-hmm. she she didn't apologize at the end of the interview. Oh, she like realized she was caught red-handed. She realized she had what she had been doing was incredibly disgusting and deceitful to families. You have questions. I have the answers. Just an, an Call me a, now for your free reading. You're just a terrible, terrible person. Like those people. Like I, fraud. I don't know what the punishment that comes along with this kind of fraud, but these are the type of people you put away for an extended period of time, because this it's a gross. That's a gross thing to do to go up to a family that's grieving, losing a loved one. You charging them to tell them that they are or not losing a loved or one. not lo- But it's just <laughs> for right in this case, <laughs> didn't happen. But it's just an incredibly disgusting thing to prey on people in their weakest, most vulnerable times. And that is, and that woman, yeah, those, those, are, those are the kind of scammers that, just, like, when you're scamming people who are already hurting, mm-hmm. you're the lowest form. It's, way. look, if you want to scam, you know, Amazon, Walmart, go do the big boys. They ain't going to be hurting, but why go after such, that's such a horrible woman. What you know, a horrible person she was. Triangle Assassin says he worked as a call-in psychic when he was in college and he now hates himself. I need to know more about this. I uh, most certainly. Yeah. So, if you want to put it in the comments or DM me or anything, you what, people should be ashamed. How, was it just a gig? Did you? <clears throat> how how does this? <laughs> did it pay well? Yeah, that's kind of what I want to know. Does it? Is it still a thing? What are I don't the requirements? I'm sure. It's like maybe there's an online version of that, yeah. right? I'm sure there is. I'm Where, sure there's a Twitter you or could just, You could just have app. AI do that. Or that <laughs> just too. have automated responses for everything that happens. I, use, I go to a Magic 8-Ball online every once really? in a while and ask it if I'm going to die by uh, a bear attack. Mm-mm. That's not Let's good. See if I can find huh. We'll just see what it says. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What's, weir- what's the weirdest job you had? Did you, ever, you, uh, you did something for uh, Channel 1. As a kid? No, uh, in college. Did you have any goofy side jobs? Oh, I, I mean, I, I worked the radio station in college, yeah. freshman year. I did radio in college. Oh, worked, you did? I did the, both student newspapers, the Man Eater and the, uh, I think the Missouri Tiger newspaper, something like mm. that. Hmm. I can't remember. But yeah, I did both publications on campus, radio. Do you and remember I did whenever? I didn't do TV. I didn't do TV. Do you remember whatever? And it would have been like 2003 or four. All those people got uh, sucked into selling knives. 
It's oh, like everybody. Vector? Vector. Is it Vector? Oh. Yeah, everybody. everybody got it. They oh. wanted, they needed like young people our age to go around and knock on doors and sell I never get the Vector their, thing. Their I parents. Think you know what I'm talking about. I though. do, though. I have friends, I have roommates <laughs> who had done it before. That's the, that's the fun thing about when you first get to college is that you quickly learn what are the scams, what can you, what you can get the quickest amount of money. Like everybody is ready to tell you their tutorial on how to get rich while in college. Oh, yeah. As soon as you arrive on campus. That's here the we fun go. Part. Here we go. Here we go. Just a gig. So this is a triangle assassin. He was a call-in psychic in oh college. Boy. Oh, boy. Found an ad online. You call in and log in, and they route calls to your number. They try to teach you how to read tarot cards and horoscopes and all that crap. What? Total scam, but I could work from home, and the pay wasn't terrible for college. Yeah, anything that brought in more than $100 a week in college, you're balling. So they kind of teach you how to read tarot cards? I guess. I believe it. Do you? There has to be an organization that would make money off of that. An organization that, yeah, that makes a ton of sense. Why not? Should we get some tarot cards? We should teach it as a course. We, uh, there's a comedian. She does tarot readings. I think she gets paid for them. People love that stuff. Yeah. Like, you got to m- imagine, like, there are people who you know, bring them to fairs. People order, have them I for birthday it. party, bachelor parties. I did it for two days, about two days before I was way too creeped out and felt like I was scamming. Went back to work in a hotel front desk. <laughs> yeah, it's like I when I worked that. at Payne Weber, <clears throat> UBS Payne Weber. I only lasted for a few months because I couldn't. I I had two different I had two different jobs, and then I got a third job at a grocery store, and I did not like grocery store life. I, mm. that, that did that lasted uh, maybe two weeks. I it's asked the fun. magic eight ball, by the way, if I was going to die by a bear attack. And what did the ba- eight ball say? Yes, definitely. Oh. That's, that's a really Head down Van Buren way. Com. Maybe Jay Cutler. You get ran over by Could Jay be. Cutler in a car or something. Mm-hmm. Him and his wife in the same car? It would be, oh, it'll be on an episode of uh, whatever that is. Yeah. Yep. Kristen Cavallari, whatever her show is. Yeah, I think it's called reality show. Yeah. Kristen Cavallari. Yeah, yeah. You that's nailed exactly it. Mm. That's exactly wow. what it is. That well, was very interesting. He still has the tarot cards he bought for it in his basement. That's like, really? you know, most of the time you have to wear like a, you have for a new job, like a black polo, <laughs> maybe some acceptable pants. Go to the store and buy some tarot cards. When, when are, I want to know from him what that first call was like. Mm. Like as you're going through this, like what are they, like how does the call go, I guess, too? Like are you kind of controlling what's being asked? Or right. Are they kind of just asking questions? Like, how does this kind of... I don't know that there was much of a rigorous training process if he was given access to callers immediately. Right. Like, you... Hmm. I'd just like to know the details of that. First. Like, how, how was he feeling during that first call? Not well. It didn't last very long. Was it yeah. a guy or girl? Hmm. So, yeah, that that's... I mean, there are a lot of call center jobs for high school and college students during our time. Like, Still, what, what, probably, right? Is there, no, because I'm not, I'm not even trying to be stereotypical when I say this. I think a lot of the call centers are outsourced. The majority of them are, at least. I know where the credit card companies are outsourced. outsourced. To where? What do you to a certain part of the world. Okay. India. There it is. Oh, no, it just picks up. It's a thing. No, but yeah, I think like, I even think most cell phone companies, I don't even think they're American call centers. Mm. I, not many, at least. I haven't had, I guess I haven't had a conversation with customer service on my phone, but it's been a while, but I, I've, last no, time I, I had a conversation with I a credit card person, it, it was definitely overseas. I realized I was getting overcharged and uh, the customer service person with Verizon was definitely a black female. Oh, yeah? American, yeah. Oh, okay. She let your ass know, didn't she? It was a... Uh, Sir! It was a terse... Sir! It was a terse conversation. I bet it was, because you probably had an attitude. And you I probably had an attitude. Yeah, it wasn't her fault. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't put the extra charges on her. I so said, why, why are you yelling at her? Why were you said, yelling at is her? It, is it the stance of Verizon? Is how I would phrase why it. Why would you say... Is, how would she know she, it was the stance of Verizon? I wasn't making it about her. But how would she know the stance of Verizon? Why would you raise such a question? She's a customer representative. She's a representative of Verizon. But she doesn't know their stance, and she ain't like in a board meeting. Why you yell at that poor black woman? I didn't yell at her. What? what why? Is that the stance of her eyes? Why would you use that kind of language with I her? I didn't use any language. All right, explain to me what was they your issue. They were funded. Well, ask me your ask me my issue. I was being charged for something they give for free, 
<laughs> and then, and I was like, I never got a notification about this. So we're like, why would we do that? And then they were trying to get me to do something else. So it was, uh, it was basically, they just kind of let me keep paying too much. And then they refunded oh, all of it. Oh, okay. I was like, well, why would I keep my service with you? Travis, is this acceptable? Okay. If I were to work in a call center okay. and to make my job easier mm-hmm. in a way, um, you know, just using my voice might not be good enough. But if I were to loquisha it up a little mm. bit oh, no. to kind of intimidate oh, some no. people on the other line, okay. is that acceptable or no? In that position, I'm not. So you're saying to, d- to dig deep into her blackness? Yeah. Hey, y'all. No, because if you've ever, like, here's the thing, like, if you've ever had, like... It would be a caricature type deal still. So I know that's not good, but I'm also playing to people's stereotypes to uh, try and make my job easier, knowing that they wouldn't give me as much guff. Here's the thing, and and this is the thing, actually, Mm. for black women. Mm -hmm. The more, like, the more steady and professional they get... They are gonna the angrier. They are gonna light your ass up. Like so, if it's like if like, it ain't the loud black woman you should be afraid of. Okay. The one that is calm and like just doesn't miss a beat. Very even keel. Kind of like my dad. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. You ain't. If you see a black woman go. Now, Mr. Demon, I wish we can continue this conversation a little bit further, but Takes your earrings out. we're certainly uh-huh. we've reached Hair the point thing. of the conversation where I don't think Jewelry that off. we're going to be able to find a solution Cell to what your to problem currently is. Uh-huh. So, sir, what I'm going to do for you right now, I'm going to go ahead and get you in contact <laughs> with one of the vice Come presidents uh, because I believe we continue this conversation. It is not going to be to anyone's liking. Is there anything else I can do for you now, Mr. Like when you get that, okay. when you trouble. get that, ooh, you didn't. It's Hiroshima, you, brother. So can wanna, I do that? Can I do that voice then? You can. That one's that one because that's a little bit more accurate. But like I said, if you ever get into a situation where a black woman is just and she crosses her hands mm-hmm. and she gives a little a little small laugh before she starts speaking, you didn't. You didn't. You messed up, and then you and it's really hard to come back from. Do you guys want to hear about the psychic calls? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, please. I remember a few calls. One guy felt like his boss was screwing him, so he wanted to know if he was going to win if he sued them. Of course, I said <laughs> he was going to win money. Oh, no. The last call I took, I don't even remember what they asked, but they very quickly set the phone down. There was yelling in the background, fighting, nothing bad, just some argument, but the phone was set down for like 30 minutes with him online. They were paying four ninety nine a minute or whatever it was, and he never came back on the line. Oh, no. That would be rough. Did the guy sue? I need I'm about to say, well, maybe he did, did that he, on purpose. What if he won? Maybe his girl was playing a cell phone bill. Maybe and he, he was like, oh, okay, bet. Oh, but yeah. what, if, what, what if, if, what if, what if, uh, if the Triangle guy, Assassin is a psychic? Yeah, what if that guy That's the won a question. lawsuit against his company? Will Travis uh, be scooped up by a major network? Let us know. Get those tarot cards out, Triangle mm-hmm. Assassin. Let's mm-hmm. ask him some questions. Yeah, let's yeah. See. he still has them. Tarot Assassin, more like it. Yeah, yeah that's what it sounds like. We oh, that'd be fun. That made me do a segment. <clears throat> Have him get them tarot cards out, like one question a week or just one reading a week. No. Mm. However, however, this way, I don't know how it works. We should do a segment like that. We should do like a really funny segment where like we dress up like as somebody who can like predict the future and put like what answers in like? an envelope. What is that? We put like? them in the envelope, the answers, mm. and then we read them and see if we got them correct. That would be a cool bit. The answers in an envelope. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do we need a hat? Yeah, we need a big one. Okay. And a really big one. Top, do, top do three I need styles to do of like to three things yes. beforehand? Yes, you absolutely have to. Do I hold the envelope to my head? That would of. be a really mm-hmm. cool effect. And then, should be a big feather in the hat? Yeah, maybe. and then maybe every once in a while I go, Doc is here, Doc is not here. Doc is here, Doc is not here. Okay. Something like that. Loosely based on something? Uh, I'm, kind of, I'm sure I got inspired by seeing something one time. Okay. So we'll see. You've been watching like old tapes or something Old recently? tapes of what? Well, I mean, there's I thing, things are on TV all the time. Do you have like Billy you, Fat Pants says, "Hey, in the comments, that's kind of weird." I don't know that. That could be my thing, couldn't it? 
That could be my thing I say. Well, you would, like you could sit on the couch time. over there. Yeah, yeah I'd say like, hey oh You are like correct, that? sir. You say are that. correct, do it. sir. Do it. Do it. He said, you are correct, sir. Maybe, all right. Yeah, maybe I'll like have like a sidekick do that, though. Maybe have Tommy on the side do mm. that. hey oh you are correct, sir. Ha, yes. Ha, yes. I can visualize the call center for your cell phone. She has the headphones plugged into her phone, holding it up to two inches from her mouth and blocking the aisle of the store that three <laughs> people are obviously trying to go down. <laughs> this is where I think. This is where we get to right it. Right here? This is where we get to it. Because this, yeah. This, this is, one? This one? Mm. This is, I think, this is where I think how people base their like uh, political affiliations on their interactions with black people in real life. Try and walk through. Why a are you conservative? Because the black woman is always loud on her phone in the middle of the grocery store aisle. I can't. I'm trying to get the fruity pebbles, ma'am. Why I'm she trying to, I got phone. kids too. Why she needs speakerphone? And that's and that's how people think. That's how I believe Republicans happen. Why they see I? black people in public and they go, "I'm not voting with them." Why? <laughs> It might be true. I know it's the previews, but do they have to talk during the previews, too? That might be true. This is why I vote for Trump. Mm -hmm. I why think that I don't the phone thing is an issue. I think it is. I, I don't blame you. I'm, I'm acknowledging that this is how one turns. How, how did Trump become president? Bad phone etiquette. It is. You know, and I don't but, blame you. Like, I, there are moments when I would ride the Metro and kids would be on it. You would have to listen to whatever mixtape they're playing on their phone at the time. You know, I want some headphones. Put some in, man. At the same time, I, there's nothing I can do. But I think it would drive me crazy enough to maybe vote a particular way because of it. Take this. <laughs> this is show them whippersnappers. They better put earphones on next time. Yeah. Trump Pence. This is what you get for bad phone etiquette. Mm -hmm. I think this is. I think that's how it works. Mm -hmm. You wonder why they still sell all that uh, Confederate memorabilia? Uh, bad phone etiquette. Mm -hmm. I was at the Galleria the other day, and they. It was their pants was around the kneecaps. Oh. I'm on for Trump. You know, I only get upset at that when someone's walking through a crosswalk and I was trying yeah. to turn the car. But but then also he's <laughs> rapping to himself. I don't mind the rapping to myself. I kind of try and figure out what they're doing when they walk by me, like what they're what the song might be more about because I'm not going to be around to hear the rest of it. So, but it only gets to me when there's a crosswalk. So, so I'm like, just, okay. So I'm curious fine. now. Just pick up the pace a little okay, bit. Okay, so now I'm curious. So when you guys, so what's going through your head? So when you see more than two black people do what you would consider a stereotypical thing, okay. do you go in your head, look at those black people, or do you go, those kids? Depends uh, on how old they are. Yeah, and what they're so doing. So if you see an adult, when you try to go to Forest Park, mm -hmm. and you see a crowd of older black folks who have beaten you to the punch, once again, what are your thoughts? You're like, man, black people are early bird catches the worm. Arr. Well, number one, I think, man, they hang out with their family a lot. Oh. That's kind of mm. nice. Yeah. I would just like a grill every now and then <laughs> where I don't have to call for a permit. <laughs> they have a good, that's a good idea. They have a good idea. Wait. I just didn't know I needed like an army with me to get a grill is the thing. <laughs> Billy Can't Fat two people just go use a grill every now and then? Billy Fat I'm Mates. not really angry. I just like, God. Just every once in a while. I didn't know I needed a Jackson Family Reunion t-shirt on to get a grill in Forest Park. Billy Fat Pants On the confused. weekend. I should say on the weekend. On the weekend. Yeah. I'm, on a Wednesday, I'm gold. But, you know, every once in a while, I want to go in there in the weekend, and it's like, okay, oh. Let's drive around. And that's the thing. And that, yeah, that's funny. So, I mean, I, I am glad you're doing family stuff and a sense of community, but, like, I got no shot at that point then. And that's me just being selfish. Do, do you believe people judge their political opinions based off their daily interactions with different yeah. people? Yes, Billy, I, Billy think so. I think that can happen. Billy confused himself. Wait, a crosswalk? Not the middle of the street? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's very rebellious Answer. to not walk on a sidewalk. It just feels good walking the street from time to time. It, I don't know why. It's Some girl blood. was doing that yesterday I, down I, Laclede in the West End oh. where she's just, there's a sidewalk, but she's just walking down the side. Nah, I wouldn't pick like, a busy ass street, but there are times where I'm like, I've been in the Grove and I want to look. It's the street. Is that for, it's for streeting. No, it's not. Walking out in the what street. Is, what is street? It's it's streeting. Street. You, you do things in the street. Sometimes oh. you walk in the street. Mm. Makes sense now. It's, it's invigorating. Try walking in the street just one time. 
Just one time on a Friday night, Chris. Just no, one time. Ain't nobody hitting your I, ever got, the I do I get ever upset got. if your attire and the way you choose to wear your attire is slowing me turning the car. I, that does bother me. Oh, because, the, you know, because you got... Because your, your steps are a little shorter. No, Travis you know, is playing... You're a little restricted. Oh, I see what you're saying. You see, no. Yeah. Okay. Now, Tra- that, that bothers me because I'm just like, you know what? Just cross the street. It would be more efficient if you just pull your pants up. Yeah, Travis just is playing that, like hey, he's a man of the get, people. Get back to... If, once you get on the sidewalk, drop him down again. But maybe just, you know, <laughs> that, go, go in that 20 feet, a pull up a minute. Move, yeah. Just it's so I can move. turn the car yeah. on a road. That's bad. Now, That's Gardner, bad. have we to- we've told this before, but maybe not in uncensored form. We were in a vehicle together, oh and a, uh, an African-American um, 20-year-old uh, decided to walk across the busiest street. Why do we, how do we sound like Bill Cosby now here all of a sudden? The turn busiest quickly. street. You turned very quickly. Well, you won't sound like him in just a second if we can reenact this. The busiest street in Columbia, Missouri. Um, we do 40 miles an hour, mm-hmm. um, and um, there was a slow walk happening. And uh, I slowed down, and I was very frustrated, and I couldn't express said frustration. So I had my, uh, I had my <laughs> voice do it for me, and I've never seen a more aggressive move out of this person. Uh, Mr. Terrell, he's just walked out in front of our car and is going very slow. Uh, the camera is now on you, I hope. And how did it go? Chris, Take it I away. Simply just collect it myself. Do not censor yourself. And I just utter to the gentleman in the street, Nigga, you ain't talking out the road! <laughs> you, you got the first part, but it was, get the fuck out the street. <laughs> Take two? No, it's not. I think I was very angry. <laughs> there are times. Yes, there are. Look, in word, you ain't tough. Get now, the F out the street. Now, if it was white kids... <laughs> I would have said the exact same thing. And it would have also been 30% be funnier because you it, said it, the inward. So, yes, yeah, so I would have said it no matter who was crossing the road. That would have really scared them. If that would have absolutely scared them. No, no if, so, it, yeah. if it's the right white kid, they go, oh, thank you. They would be like, yo, dog, you won't believe this. But no, dude, there are yeah, times. Like, especially if you get to a more privileged area, then they're like, mm-hmm. well, I just, does this mean I get to yeah. use it now? Well, it is just power. Like, yeah. And I'm thinking like, look, kids, I know kids want to be, you know, rebels and cool and whatever. I get that. At the same time, we're in mid-Missouri, you young black kids, you're being stupid. Now, if somebody run your ass over, now I got to go fight them for being racist a-holes. Yeah, Boone so County's now, a tough place to exactly. do that. Exactly. So I'm just like, hey, stop being idiots. You're an idiot. It's, it's what I generally say to just kids in general. It's not. I'm not saying don't have fun. I'm saying don't do something to the point where now you're going to be inconvenienced by the law. Because when the law gets involved, then that's all bets are off. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I just say to young people. Mm. All bets are off. Like, when you do something so incredibly dumb mm. that you get the law involved, then, it's as they say, it's above my pay grade at that mm. point. I can't do much for you. So you just walking in the middle of a damn street during a busy intersection at a busy time of day, don't do people like that. People got places to be. Mm-hmm. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. That's all I was saying, Chris. That's mm. was the what, but I was trying to get across to those gentlemen. Mm. Gentlemen, Sorry, guys. do not be rude. Allow these cars to pass, hmm. motherfuckers. <laughs> N word. I just got distracted by you talking there and Chris going. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did I? Mm. Did I feign the uh, correct entrance? I was level? yeah. I was just sitting here just like. Mm. What Travis is saying right now, because all I can hear is this. Mm. Um, mm. Uh, we did get some breaking news last weekend. What, what did we get? Uh, Jeffrey Epstein died by suicide. Oh, that's cute. Um. <laughs> that's cute. That's that's rich. Huh. Mm. I, I think did, was your is, uncle part is, of this? This is so oh. this is so brilliant. Like Jeffrey Epstein, and ha- you get called a kook. Here's the best thing about like he has done something that we've never seen in the history of the world. He's disappeared in plain sight. And it's it's I brilliant. Was, I thought he died by suicide. He didn't. Hmm. And that's the beauty of it. You guaranteed me that he's alive still. He may he be walking in the building right now. And there is nothing you could do. We live in the time like he you have to understand it's the closest thing we may get to the perfect crime. 
Did you ever see? Uh, this that is the closest thing we'll get. Remember Christian Bale put out that mag magician movie. This is this is that. Level. This is that level. And then there was another one. What was that with Hugh? There were two magician movies that came out at the exact same there time. It was The Prestige and The Illusionist. Yes. The Illusionist. Yeah. And it was very much a deep impact Armageddon. Situation. They both were good. I liked them both. I'm a big prestige guy because I like the, the, the Nolan brothers. But yeah, absolutely. They're both good. I like them. Mm. They were good for them. They were. Don't so look those up on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Back to uh, Jeffrey Epstein. I think this is brilliant because twofold. You can pull this off because of 2019. And but you shouldn't people be able to won't... because the internet and cell phones, man. But he can because no he's, one's going to. He's already had the plastic surgery. It's, it's perfect storm of that. He could pull off a conspiracy theory. But because conspiracy theories are now part of the mainstream, it will never be considered believable. So look how he's beaming. So he has figured Jeffrey just, Epstein has figured out the greatest conspiracy theory of all time. Committing a conspiracy theory when conspiracy theories are too popular to be believed. Do you think whoever helped facilitate this put like a little Elon Musk like tracker in his neck or something? His suicide? His escape. It's brilliant. You sneak in the body. I just love being Whose on the... Whose face would you get? He I knew... Me love love Whose face would you get? I love being on the other side of this. Jeffrey Epstein has had years. Whose he knew he was going to get caught. Whose face would you get? Oh, I would get uh, Alfonso Ribeiro, mm. uh, who played Carlton, of course. Uh, obviously. And Fresh Prince. So I would get him. I would get his face. I'd go with Dolph Lundgren. That'd be a smart now, play. Now, I'd make oh, my 75-year-old Dolph Lundgren. Ooh. But I, that makes I'll sense. Like, Nick Jeffrey Cage. Epstein knew he was going to get caught. Like, he face. knew he was going to get caught. The thing about... Oh. The thing about criminals, especially people who lead cartels. Oh yeah, tell me about this. Is how it works. Vast Gardner. cartel knowledge. So I they saw a documentary know where this guy who shot bow and arrows was going all over the world killing cartel people. Oh man, let me mm -hmm. tell you about that documentary. He was in a bad place. But mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is this is mm -hmm. just brilliant. Look, look, because no one's going to follow it up. No one's going to follow this up. Who's going to follow this up? No one. No, no one's going to follow it up because he was a terrible human being and a villain who had a ton of information on very powerful people. So he's dead? He's not. Ah. He is not. If you, if you think he's alive, hit share. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Organic growth. Organic hit share growth. on the stream. Let no, let's, that's so that's we can try and get let's, it to him let add him know. Add it to the new melee. And let's see if we can get our good friend Brendan Schaefer involved so we can really amplify oh, this. This is the poll this is, master is, The yeah. question is this. Yeah. Is Jeffrey Epstein alive? Yes or no? I'll Chris, do you believe... That Jeffrey Epstein's alive. That's that's my thirty percent. I love this I, so I know much. He, I know he was killed. He was killed. It was it was organized. Gardner is Jeffrey Epstein alive? Don't know. There, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. That's good enough for me. That works for me. I'm good. Whew. This is gonna be our pursuit. Seems you have your bears. Seems doubtful. you have uh, hair products. Hmm. Now I have this. Here, let's ask the. Uh, 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 why don't we ask the tarot cards? Or is that yeah, how that that's works? A, yeah, that's a, mm -hmm. Is Jeffrey Epstein alive? Hey, Triangle Assassin, answer the question. Jeffrey Epstein, and here's the and here's the beauty are you about pulling, this. Are you putting this poll out, or am I? No, you can. Okay. Here's the beauty about this situation. Or I can because, do it afterwards. Because when I'll you change your identity, now Jeffrey Epstein can live. He can just be. He can just start over again. The he's a super is, villain. Somewhere. Let's ask the, the magic eight ball. The problem is. The okay. problem is if he's not in an enclosed area. He does things that get him in trouble, which means sleeping with underage women. Girls, I should say. Excuse me. So that risk would tell me he's either been put somewhere where he can be kept tabs on and he can do whatever he wants, or he was killed because that would be too risky. Put, let's ask the mag magic eight ball. But before we do, I just, I just want to be clear because here's the thing. Like, and I, I think we have to realize that if you were a horrible human being, like, you you know you're one of the worst, but you're also incredibly powerful, rich. Mm. Are you telling me you do not have a plan of some sort to escape authorities? You do. Seen a lot of you movies. have a plan of some sort to escape. Like, if the doors, if they were knocking on the doors right now, Chris, mm. you have a room Yeah, usually there's like a tunnel and a helicopter. Yes. So you would put together a plan. That would put things into motion. So when the day he knew he was about to get caught, did he turn himself in or did they catch him? Was it, was it one they, of those things where they, they had to catch him? him? They arrested him. All right, so he had plenty of time to get his affairs in order for him to put all these things into motion. 
You're telling me a guard just happened to be lax that day? That that like in the fact that no one is like Come like, on, man. Come on, man. Why are you why? Because he knows it's true. Because he knows Epstein had the means to be able to pay off I've those been guards. Laughed at before for my yeah, because yours, now yours. I just get to watch because yours, yours from this view. Let you, us know in the comments. You guys think he's a liar? Oh, you guys dead. frustrated? What's I'm wrong? not frustrated at all. Oh. I, I absolutely know it's true. All I don't right, need to go. be. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Magic eight ball. Does it respond back when I say things? Well, you gotta ask the question. Okay. Magic eight ball is Jeffrey Epstein alive? Here we go. What I it can't say? see it. I can't see what it says. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, he's zooming in. What does it say? Outlook, not so good. Okay. Mm. Mm. You know what? Epstein Buckingham would Pal pay the eight ball company to say that. And now, now you're a theorist. Prince Andrew says he's appalled by Jeffrey Epstein's sex abuse claims. That's from Business Insider. Buckingham Palace just reacted to the sexual misconduct al allegations uh, from Cosmopolitan. This, this is far reaching, kids. This is Jeffrey uh, Epstein is alive. There's no doubt about it. He's more I love important. How you say there's no doubt about it without a cent well, of but evidence. No, see, but I don't why do you need evidence? Because that's what you need it for anything. America wasn't created on evidence. That's a good point. What was it created on? On love, liberty, and happiness. Mm. I thought you were going to say racism. No, yeah, that, well, I that, that was just, was I mean, that's in the fabric second. of it all. I mean, that's mm. how you think we put the flag together. Mm. That's what it's made out of. Uh, Cotton and racism. Trending on Twitter, I don't even think this is... a. A question. This is trending. Friends or Seinfeld? That's not even. No, that's not a question. Is there a discussion on that? Why is this a thing? I there's no there is no there should be no discussion, right? There's a clear choice. I think certain generations will say Seinfeld. I think people who are a handful of years younger than us would say Friends. Oh. Might might go They've down. Been, uh, I think thirty five. There I might think be a gender are, line as well. There's definitely a gender line. There'll be more right. males would pick Seinfeld over. Right. And more women would be drawn to Friends. Now here's the. Now but they the, enjoyed but, it. But more, here's maybe. the thing where it gets a lot of fun. They're breaking down to black people. That's where the real conversation takes place because a lot of black people won't acknowledge that they watch both shows, but they do. Black people love Friends. Black people love Seinfeld. They just don't publicly say it. Would Martin get brought to the table? Oh, there's no doubt. That's why we were not involved in this conversation. This was started on white Twitter. Smart. White Twitter. They knew. They knew not to evolve us. What if we did that same poll question, but then hashtag Black Twitter and see what happens? If you did The Office and then Martin, and now you really want to get some drama going, do that. Okay. You'll get some. Oh boy, that may split the community. That may be like Jay Z Kaepernick all over. I'll again. say. Black to the Future says that the oh, office why, why is better than I just than don't, I don't. Did he I don't, unprotect his tweets? I don't. I yeah. Stacy got on his ass. What the hell Stacey are you static. doing? Would you pick? Are you protected pick or not? Lane, pick and lane. Yeah. Stacy Static pick. gave it to him. Because then, like, I can't, I can't interact with you then, yeah, and have others point. interact with you. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. I'm so sorry. why did why did you once again protect them? Because I I, I have uh, prospects out there in these streets, and I just have Look, to make sure. Here's what you need to know: what you have cooking, who you are. You're not important enough to have your <laughs> interesting <laughs> tweets. Protected. What you're looking to do is right. not important enough. It's fair to have your tweets protected. If, you're fine. You're if uh, if Dang. if Brian Koppelman can have his unprotected tweets, you're good, dude. Brian Koppelman has a show on. Doesn't he have his own show? Yeah. So he can do that. He oh, you're saying you need to do it as a preemptive measure. I, I yes, you I need to get there. Jeffrey first Epstein. And then I, I need to. I need to. You know, it's well, like getting into our. It's like, well, then stay stay protected. Okay. Jeffrey Epstein forever lives. and ever. Well, yeah, because we're why getting, can I involve because we're unprotected fucking status. sick and tired? Oh wow! Of trying to figure out if we can communicate with you or not, or just okay. see uh, whatever the screenshot it thing you're saying about <laughs> what a dumbass a black woman <laughs> acting in a movie. Uh, so you can get uh, some the, woke woke points. Yeah, that's okay. true. Ninety percent of his tweets. Yes, Queen. <laughs> it is. It is not. Oh yeah. Jeffrey Epstein oh, I think lives so. in the meadows in oh, Colorado. Oh, because if if you don't do that, here's what I'm going to start doing. Is I'm just gonna go through all your tweets and screenshot them, and I'll mm. publicize them here. You'll instead. be the public Twitter for. <laughs> <laughs> we have a feed of a feed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you mm -hmm. want to hear about uh, a psychic reading? Okay. From, what do you say about Epstein? Assassin? Yes. Epstein lives in the meadows in Colorado with the other members of the Pentavirate. <laughs> Pentavirate. 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 That's kind of La Jolla, La Jolla. Uh, 
Armegedon. <laughs> Melodica. It was a Melodica. That was a Melodica. That's another thing that gets brought up entirely too much. When I was, uh, whenever Armageddon came out, I'm like, pretty sure it's Armegedon. My dad's like, it's <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> I bet you, Don, it sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> like, Dad, uh, I'm in the gifted class. I get straight A's. I, I bet you, I Don. <laughs> Still brought up. What kind of dinosaur? I'm 35. What kind? Of, what does an Armageddon dinosaur look like? <laughs> the Hooters, yeah, the Hooters Armageddon girl, State I'm Park five, out yeah. near Kimswick, yes, right? Yes, yes. I love the hiking trails in Armageddon State Park. I was in the gifted class, man. I met you, Don. <laughs> I'm just thinking about Larry's reaction. He, he was up. like, I'm thinking about Larry's reaction. My oldest boy is an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I love it. I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> I love that moment. Like, you in the gifted class and your dumb ass talking around a marriage. Are you, t- are you I saying this in public? I knew I shouldn't have let you get kicked in the head. <laughs> dumb ass horse threw you off that damn horse. I should have took your ass to the hospital. This I had the chance. This is on me. This is my bad. This is on, this is I'm on the me. dad. <laughs> this is on me. That's my fault. That is, oh, that is messed up. By that time, I had probably had a couple <laughs> sure concussions. <laughs> then your dad's response. Pretty sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to be nice to me, and I wouldn't stand down. Our budget on. Pretty sure it's not. I would love to hear a dad say that to their kid in real life. I want to see it. We got our Megadon, we got Melodica, we got Manuva. I mean, this is a family. Dad, now. what you talking about? You could definitely drink bleach. <laughs> Pretty sure you can't. Like, Did you see the FDA put out a statement what, saying that drinking bleach does not help cure autism? That's what's wrong with y'all. That's what the white people think. That's now that, definitely. Uh, that, now, tell me this. Now, I was listening to Miss Pat's podcast. Sorry, Gardner. Finish what you're saying. Well, it was about the uh, what was sent in to you. Okay. Re- read it one more time. Oh, we didn't read it. Yeah, the Pentaveret. <laughs> I mentioned that. The, the Queen, the Vatican, the Gettys, the Rothschilds, and Colonel Sanders. Yes. Oh, is that a quote from something, or is he that funny? Uh, so I married an axe murderer. I actually have it right here. Are you kidding? How? I need to watch this again. All right, hold on one okay. second. Okay. It's a little quiet. He there we go. Move. Why is it not going too loud? I don't, do I need to call Tech Electronics? No, hold on one second. Beep, it's a good beep, quote. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, we'll I just play it that. as is. We just gotta listen. Well, it's a well-known fact, Sonny Jim, that there's a secret society of the five wealthiest people in the world, known as the Pentaveret, mm. who run everything in the world, including the newspapers, and meet triannually at a secret country mansion in Colorado, known as the Meadows. So who's in this Pentaveret? The Queen, the Vatican. The Gettys, the Rothschilds, and Colonel Sanders. Right there. There it is. <sighs> Triangle Assassin, that was, he was quizzing me to see if I actually watched over the He's a teacher. He's sneaky. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch it over the week. I watched Endgame over the weekend. He should have just consulted his tarot cards to yeah, find out if you watched it over true. the weekend. That's true. Penta- yeah. You can see where the Shrek voice came from, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you can. Whew, good God. What did you... <laughs> I'm sorry, our Megadon still fucking with me. Yeah, it's still, it's it's funny. Twenty five years later, to my dad too. Pretty sure it's not. The pretty sure it's not is what makes it because because you just know it, no, but you didn't just tell him no. Because here's the thing that in that moment, your dad realized you're his son. Mm. Like my son, full of shit. This son of a bitch is talking about some. Mm. Man, I'm pretty sure it's not, Chris. Armageddon, just walking around talking about his Armageddon. I hope your ass ain't going out in public telling share, people his Armageddon. Share pictures on Friends of Wall of what an Armageddon would look like. Okay. <laughs> Brad Affleck. Yeah, add, your, add your friends. Add your friends to Friends of Wall. We'll get some. <laughs> when did that come out? <laughs> Have you heard the com- Have you heard the commentary? When did that come out? Ninety seven. Ninety six. I think so. I was heard? a little too old to not know that. We're, we're gonna well, that, that's save for tomorrow. Remind me, Gardner. I want to bring up the DVD commentary of Ben Affleck. It gets shared on Twitter every year, but Ben Affleck is doing the commentary of Armageddon, mm. and it's just it's Armageddon. completely it's Ben Affleck shitting on the entire movie, mm. and it is hilarious. He's like he is taking shots at Michael Bay. I hope the friends ninety eight, and it is good good stuff. I'm Was gonna he find drunk? the video. People assert that he was maybe Maybe drunk. Maybe I've seen this somewhere, at least. It's good. I don't know whether he's drunk or not. And maybe, I don't know. I don't want to assert that he was drunk because I know he's had alcohol issues. 
But I will say in that in that I DVD can do that as a drunk. Mm. Okay, that's, that's fair. your word. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's your word. But no, it's really fun. We're gonna pull that up tomorrow because it is funny. Because I love me some Armageddon because it is an absolutely ridiculous film, but it is awesome. Mm. It is like an hour and forty five minute music video. I love it. Have we done that on Dogs on Film before? Armageddon. Armageddon. You were so ca- and you're a Catholic boy. How did you get that wrong? That's. <laughs> You should know Armageddon. They not talk about Armageddon in the Catholic Com- Church. Com- combat sports and riding horses. Not good for <laughs> memory. We retention. call it revelations. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Chris. And well, it's more. It's Chris more walking a, around like Jack Lambert. It's probably more a, help? <laughs> apocalypse within that book. Probably. Uh, <laughs> nobody knew what Armageddon was. Yes, we did. Not we all went to church. Movie? Yes, we did. I went to a, I went to a black church. Our Armageddon was one where we knew right away. We didn't yeah. understand a lot of other words at that young age. How do you think age? religion works? Right. They, they were, put fear in you. Right, they, right away, that, out the gate. That if you try to function on a daily basis, you're doing something wrong. Oh, they let you know right out the gate. Huh, you going to wear that skirt underneath your knees? Uh-huh. Armageddon going to get you. Uh, for, now, for a long time, I was like, is Armageddon a face? And Chris thought it was a dinosaur. He that would come dinosaur. get him in his sleep. <laughs> Pretty... Pretty sure it's our Maginot, Dad. Pretty sure it's not. Mm. I thought the gift of class. That is. <laughs> yeah, I had to pay extra money to be in the gift of class, didn't you? They were palming them under. And... Hey, can you get a... <laughs> they, Actually, I was supposed to go to. I was supposed to go to the uh, learning. Dis- I was supposed to go to the learning disabilities room, but accidentally walked into the wrong room, and they just let me stay. I just want to see. I just want. It to doesn't s- matter. I just want to see a doctor come out of Denman's house, going, "Yo, ma sure does love your education." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh, that little boy, with all the head injuries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's gifted, all right. Uh-huh. I'm glad we got you straightened out, Chris. Can we talk about in the gifted class? I was like super aggressive and like whatever because we had to do, <laughs> we had to do, we had to do recess at a different time, and we'd go out there and it was me and like some bunch of super real smart people, and it'd be like four square, and I'm like launching it at their face. What an ass! And then ba- what a jerk! Dude. Basketball. What a jerk! Basketball. I wouldn't. Let, I was like, mm, no, I no, I wouldn't. I'd like play on my own hoop and. <laughs> You were like baby Trump. It was bad. You you were in a crowd of people you shouldn't have been around. Baby Trump. And that's oh. how that's how I'm podcasting. And the other one went to MIT and Stanford for his doctorate. So there you go. So that works. <laughs> Little head injury boy. He likes, play, he likes that basketball. Makes him feel good. Who would have thunk the boy who said Armageddon? I'm sure it is. Would have become the podcaster, and everyone else go to MIT and Stanford. I think the gifted program <laughs> at Farmington might mean something a little different than all <laughs> When did you know? And a gold star blue ribbon. <laughs> when did it start all going downhill? It was our Medjidon. It was our Medjidon. It was at that moment. I knew. Pretty sure it's our Medjidon. God, that's great. Literally, the, 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 the cream of that class went to MIT and Stanford Let's, and is a biomedical research. And our Medjidon. And Let's do our, our, we are live. Our, our Medjidon's podcast. We, we, could re, we could sell this movie to sci-fi yeah. as Armageddon. Spell mm-hmm. it that way, but just pronounce our it Medjidon. Armageddon mm-hmm. and then just do our own script yeah. from there. Like, man, maybe maybe uh, the asteroid's coming with an Armageddon on it. Oh, and just shoots out a bunch of our Medjidon yeah. into the atmosphere. Now tell yeah. me this. Is another sign that I was going to end up a podcaster and him, uh, you know, doing his thing at MIT. Um, another sign, like March was music month, and I would never be prepared for anything, but every March I knew time to bring music because you got to bring in music that day. Mm-hmm. Kids bring in classical music and stuff. I brought it back in black with ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> a room full of kids and a uh, gifted teacher had to listen back in black <laughs> what, a, what is wrong with you when did you start playing like combat sports when did you start I was thrown from a horse when I was five or six Jesus I didn't know the, the, the effects I think there was a clerical error here <laughs> there was a major major <laughs> clerical error that teacher <laughs> So wait, so wait, what? So, so you just played it in class? And she's like, 
And I, I remember, I'm like, hey, it's March. And she's like, you're not ready. You're never prepared for anything. Yeah, you get to play. You get to bring in a song, and you play for March's Music Month during whatever we were doing. Mm. You got to play one of your favorite songs. So I'm during a class activity, you guys were playing. It's like third grade, too. And you were like, and she let you play Back in Black? Yeah. And what was the what was the students were the students oh, tapping along? Maybe thunderstruck. Were you like know. were you tapping along, or were the other students doing? I mean, they were like I in probably, shock. I probably interrupted them a bunch. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna take hey, you. Hey, you like the song, don't you? Yeah. I'm gonna take you to the state <sighs> education board <laughs> and present you to them, <laughs> and then tell them that I think they need no, to take talk the. To for a minute. I think they need to take the gold star and the blue ribbon away from Farmington. <laughs> <laughs> Let this they idiot. made a mistake as well. Let this idiot play back in black <laughs> in class. <laughs> you ain't got to say yes to all them damn white no, kids. No, no. <sighs> ask them about the Armageddon. Oh, shoot. Well, all boys right. and girls, I tell you what. I done worked up a hunger. I may head out to a nice place and get some food truck. Chris, oh. what do you recommend? Buzz is Hawaiian grill. Get your Armageddon on. Get some poke. <laughs> hey, Buzz, you got some more of them Armageddons? Check out Let me get Facebook. a couple of those, please. Check out their Facebook page for locations. I like them Hawaiian imaginings. Oh, that's right. Guys, that'll do it for today. Check out midcoast.media for more information on what we do here. Uh, big congrats. Uh, we've got some new podcasts starting, so keep an eye out for our Instagram. <coughs> we've been uh, highlighting those. Uh, very excited about that. Woo -woo! And, and uh, for Gardner, for Travis, for our Medjidon, we're back tomorrow live at 8 a.m. We'll see you then. Peace.